Hi there crafty people. How do you feel about a resin experiment today? Do you remember these that I did? Let's pull them up. These are the 3D resin art with alcohol inks. This is the first one I did. This is the second one I did. Now these were quite different. This one, um, not only are they different colors, but they're different inks. They're both using the Ranger inks, but in this case, it uses the Ranger white. And in this case, it uses the pinata white. And I did get quite different results with them. So go back and have a look at the videos up in this corner. Which corner is it? This one, this one, up in one of the corners, there's gonna be a little eye up on the screen where you can see the links to the videos for how these resin art pieces were made. So I thought today I would do an experiment side by side and see with the two white colors of white brands of ink which one was going to be best so i'm going to use the same um, i'm going to use this coaster mold so i'll pour the exact same amount of resin in each i'm going to use the same colors let me get my specs on i have got these are all um, um tim holtz adirondack alcohol inks this one is a nice bright green in citrus then i have turquoise that's that one and poppy field so some very nice bright colors that hopefully are going to go well together and then i have the two brands of white this is the tim holt mixative snow cap and the pinata blanco let's get those both in the camera so on one of them i will do the tim holtz on the other one i will do the pinata now, I like to take my safety seriously, so I'll be using my respirator while I'm using um, resin and alcohol inks. So I can talk to you now, and then when I come to the actual section when I'm putting the inks into the resin, then I'm going to be putting my respirator up, and so you won't be able to hear me. I'll just um, maybe speed that up and put a little bit of music over the top, and then once it's cured, I'll come back at the end. We'll un unmold them for the mold, and we'll see what they look like and if there's been any difference in using those two brands of white. So, see you in a moment.
So the resin is now cured, so let's take a good look at them. For a start, this one looks as though the inks have spread out a lot more. With this one, the inks have spread out a lot less. Here, it's quite opaque. You don't see a lot of clear areas. With this one, I can see lots of areas where I can see right down through the inks and into the mold. Can you see here where uh, there are lots more white or clear areas? Um, and I also noticed that when I was dropping the inks, that this one with the pinata white would spread out and react so much more. This one, the reactions were a lot less with the ranger and I could see that the white was dropping all the way through. So I'm expecting when I pull this one out that I'm gonna have a lot of white ink on the front. But let's take a look. So first one, let's do the pinata. Okay, so here's the pinata. It's got a lot of 3D effects. There are some little patches here of where the white has come through just a little bit. But generally speaking, um, lots of 3D effects. It looks pretty cool. I'll give you uh, some more close-ups a bit later on. So that's the one with the pinata white. This is our ranger. Okay, and that's very different. Already I can see it in the mould. It's left a lot of white ink actually right on the bottom of the mould. And if I look at this one, let's wait for the camera to zoom in, the white has dropped all the way through to the bottom and you can see where it's actually not performed very well at all. I've got all these little areas um, where the white has reacted not too well with the resin and um, it's left some not very nice results. But the, the coloured bits that I do see are absolutely beautiful. You know, some of these areas round here, round here, absolutely fantastic, really beautiful. But the problem is the white has gone all the way through to the bottom and even reacted there. A quick, so I'm gonna to have to see if I can scrape this white off the mold without hopefully damaging the nice silicon surface. So let me put both of these now side by side down on the table. I'll bring the ca camera down so you can take a good look. This one is the pinata white, this one is the ranger white. So let's look at this one first of all. You can see now the details of what's happened where the white has fallen all the way through into the bottom of the mold here and just left not very nice areas in the resin. But the parts that aren't damaged by that are absolutely beautiful. I really love the um, lovely effects that we've gotten around the edges here and the depth that we have. If only it wasn't for the problem with the white, I think this one would most likely be my favorite because it is really spectacular. So let's have a look at this other one. This one is our one with the pinata white and it looks kind of darker in color, obviously compared to the other one because we're not seeing the white. There are a few little spots of white just here and there, but mostly all you're seeing is the colors. So the, the white has kind of disappeared. Oh, is that a little hair in there? Could be, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and you're getting these wonderful 3D effects. I'm not sure if the camera can really pick those up terribly well. It's got fantastic 3D effects. Let me just hold the camera still, then I can spin the coaster around and you can hopefully see how that came out. Really, really nice. So the colours in a lot of ways haven't reacted with each other. Now I put them in next to each other and as you can see they're quite distinct areas of the lime and the red and the, the blue here. Actually this blue's come out a lot whiter. It was quite a dark blue colour but now that it's finished in there it's a lot um, lighter in colour and probably the green is a little bit too. I guess the white mixes in and creates the reaction and the colours lighten a little bit as opposed to the other one where obviously the white didn't mix in um, and uh, well that's what happened. 
So there we go, that is our side-by-side -side test comparing the Pinata White with the Ranger White ink for use in your Petries. I hope this has been helpful. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment or even subscribe if you like. See you again for some more um, resin, ink, paint and crafty experiments and projects soon.